Hello guys, don't mind the hair, it's still just in a plait from like the way I slept. I'm probably gonna like let it down later, but I'm just gonna jump straight into my makeup today. We're gonna do a few first impressions, play with some colors. I really, really, really wanna use this. Look how cool this color palette is. Like I'm obsessed with these shades. So I wore this kind of like grayish top to kind of go with it, but I feel like this color is like not my color. I don't know if it's cause my hair is like fresh bright blonde. Like I got my roots done and it's like so blonde. I don't know if it's like the wrong color palette for me. I really want to do one of those color analysis things. What color palette do you guys think I am? Because I feel like I suit like these type of colors, like this blue and stuff. I feel like it makes me look really bright, bright pinks and things. I don't know. I haven't even looked into it. I need to try out some of those like TikTok filters or something. I'm going to quickly do a little mini haul. So I bought some stuff from MAC. I got the new Studio Radiant Serum Power Foundation. So I'll probably do like a proper first impression on this. I also got the new Skin Finish Sunstruck Radiant Bronzer. I might try some of these today. I also picked up the Morphe Supreme Brow. I think all of that was from Mecca. Uh, from Mecca in a separate order. I also bought this for a first impression. This Morphe Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. Another bronzer from Kosas. A Mecca bronzer. You guys know I've been bitching about like how no one's really doing bronzers lately. And then I saw there were some new ones. So I like literally picked up. A bunch. I also got my beauty loop, which is from Sol de Janeiro this time, I think, which is so exciting because it's one of my favorite brands for like just body care. So there's the Delicia Drench. Is that how I say that? I don't know. The purple one. I actually don't love that scent as much. Like I just like the original. And then there's the Beige Floor Elasta Cream. I don't know. I'll still use them because I like the formulas, but the original scent is just like incredible. And then I also bought some stuff from House Labs right before they re-released the blushes. So that really annoys me. So I would have bought some of the blushes. But anyways, um, we have Rose Quartz Highlighter, which is more of like a blushy highlighter. Packaging is quite cool. This is the color. It's really pretty. Oh, I really want to try this. Just reminded me I want to try out the new Rare Beauty like shimmery blushes as well. And I got <laughs> bronzer and concealer, the Triclone Skin Tech Concealer because I've been enjoying the foundation. So we might try that today too. Okay, the hair's coming out now. Mm, smells good. Okay, <laughs> so first I'm going to prime. Did you guys like my declutter? I finally uploaded a declutter if you guys missed it. And I think I'll start out by using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Here she is. I'm just joking. <laughs> so many people were like, Shannon, that's so expired. It's not meant to be that color. I mean, I thought it was supposed to be this color, but I guess I haven't like looked at it in the longest time. <laughs> and yes, it's very, very old. So she's going in the bin. Instead, I'm gonna go into my new stuff drawer. Here's the um, Power Grip Primer. I feel like I need to brush my hair. Oh, I just feel so blonde and this top color. I don't feel confident right now. Isn't that weird how like we just, feel like we don't suit certain colors. I mean, it's a fact of life, right? Like you don't suit every color. But I don't know, like I just really don't feel my best right now. Hopefully makeup helps. Also, I just, I don't know. Am I loving the super blonde roots or do I need to do like a little smudge again? Cause I did have that kind of like root smudge, you know, natural root for such a long time. And I don't know, it was handy too, because you know, I could just let my hair grow out a little bit more. Whereas with this hair color, I have to get my roots touched up every six to eight weeks. I'm just spreading this on. Have I ever tried this? I mean, this was out of my new stuff drawer, but I swear I tried this. It feels good. It feels refreshing. A little bit sticky, nothing crazy, but it does say to let it set for 30 seconds. So let's let it dry. Yeah, it's getting stickier. Let's start with the brows. I really wanted to kind of do what I used to do with my brows, which was I'd do my brows first, fill them in first, and then outline them with concealer. I just feel like that was some of the best my brows looked. And you know, I've been struggling with my brows lately. Sally though, this past long weekend, she um, shaped my brows a little bit for me because I haven't had them done since Porter was like three months old. So she plucked them, we didn't have wax, but she did pluck them and tie them up and trimmed them. They're looking a little bit like thinner now and I think it looks good. Supreme Brow Sculpting and Shaping Wax. So I think it's meant to be like a um, brow, like laminate fluffy product. Use a precision brush, apply onto your brows, building as desired and then use a comb, brush your hairs for a feathered look or for a laminated look. Use a paddle to press down your brows. Okay, latte. I feel like I should have probably got a shade lighter, but normally I go for this kind of color. I don't know, maybe it'll look good once the rest of our makeup's on. I'm just looking like really pale on my face right now. With the hair, like I just feel very washed out. I'm gonna go straight in with a spoolie and just see what happens here. 
I probably should have gone in with a, um, oh god, cleaner spoolie. Because this one's like already got wax all over it. <laughs> we are off to a great start. Whoa. Okay, it's fine because we're going to remove the excess. Let's just <laughs> trust the process, I guess. Is my sound good? I hope my sound's good. Hello? Hello? Now, I'm going to be rogue. I'm taking my fingers. We're going to press. 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 <gasps> I need a Q-tip. Cotton tip, earbud. What do you call them? I used to call them earbuds. But I thought that sounded weird. So on YouTube I call them Q-tips. <laughs> this looks low-key like greasy. I guess it is a wax, right? So makes sense. Scraping up the excess. It looks very warm. I don't mind a bit of warmth on my brows these days, but like that's very, very warm. I might go in with a little bit of this light brown by Huda Beauty. I feel like it's a little bit cooler toned. And it might just add a bit more dimension as well. Let's see. I don't know. So spring, summer, good weather season. It's officially come to an end here in New Zealand. But obviously you guys in the northern hemisphere are enjoying your... Is it spring still? Yeah, it is, right? Honestly, seasons confuse me. Like it's getting dark so early again. I hate that. You know, I could probably deal with the bad weather. But I hate how like it gets dark so early and I get like the whole seasonal like blues like I don't know I get really down when it's this time of year and I know I do and so I start dreading it. How do you guys get around that like is there a way to get around the winter blues? I genuinely just feel like it affects my mood so much. Is anyone else like that? I don't know. Anyway I'm gonna try out the um you know, new concealer I bought. I bought the shade Fair Golden, shade two. Don't know if it's gonna be right, but we'll give it a go. Packaging's cute, glass little thing. ASMR. Ooh, the applicator's kind of big, right? Well, I just wanted to go around the brow. This is gonna be too pale. It's gonna give me a very highlighted brow look. It feels very thick. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought it would be like kind of runny, but it's it's thick. It's made in Korea. Don't even look at how like dirty this brush is right now. I don't want to talk about it. So this is what I used to do. I just feel like it makes my brows look nice and clean and like pretty. This is drying so fast. I'm really nervous to use this under my eyes, but people love this, so you know. Stay positive, Shan, stay positive. Oh my gosh, my eyelids are so red today. I do have like real bad hay fever lately. I feel like I always do though. I saw something about how there's like an injection you can get at the doctor um, for hay fever. Has anyone ever had that in New Zealand? Like, is it a thing here? And then I also saw people getting Botox up their nose. I don't even think it's injected. I think it's just sprayed up your nose. And apparently it stops hay fever. Have any of you heard of that? I've like, I don't know. I haven't actually researched it. I just saw someone on TikTok get it done. And I was like, what the heck? It's so embarrassing being like allergic to like just earth. Like it's literally my one job is just to like exist in the earth and I can't even do that. I feel like it's looking so dry on my eyelids. Maybe I needed a more like moisturizing, um, like, you know, primer. I'm saying that though, I literally just moisturized my face before I started filming. Maybe I need like a sponge. Either way, the actual finish of the brows looks really good. I'm just not sold on like the color. It looks heavy. If this does this to me on my under eyes, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my Pretty Fresh setting spray. This is probably expired too, just saying. Let's do it. So the shade I'm using is, honestly, low key. I feel like the setting spray is like itching my skin. Should I throw it away? Oh, I probably should. This is going in the bin too. Look at us decluttering after doing a declutter. Come to think of it, I used it yesterday and I got a rash on my neck. And I was like, why do I have a rash on my neck? It was probably that. Anyway, like I was saying, this is the color Light Neck, Light, <laughs> light Neutral. Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I do have a first impression on this. If you would like to go watch it, feel free. I'll link it below. I'm just gonna distribute it first. And then we'll kind of blend it afterwards. just looks so pretty. It actually went on top of that primer so good. And I love the undertone of this foundation. It's literally like my perfect 
undertone. It is like a shade too light compared to my chest because I've got some bronzer on my chest. But by the time we add bronzer and everything, and yes, we're using a lot of bronzer today because I bought like a trillion new ones. I think it'll be perfect. I'm gonna take a tiny little pump of this. I'm gonna use my brush and like thin out my brows a little bit more. All right, I'm nervous. Concealer, I honestly feel like I'd like this more with a sponge, but I'm that lazy. And I just don't want to get off my ass and wet one. Is that too much? You know what? We'll use a powder puff and some setting spray. And we'll just tap this out. Okay, the color under my eyes is nice and brightening. Actually, it's probably a very good color because I could use this with no fake tan or with fake tan. This might be the type of concealer that I'll have to like warm up to over time because um, like I like how it looks. I'm just not like blown away by it compared to some other concealers I've used lately. Does that make sense? But I feel like I need to keep trying it and especially with a wet sponge. I just feel like I'll like it with a wet sponge. So we'll definitely try it again. I don't hate it. I like how it looks once it's blended out. I just feel like it's a little bit like thick to work with. That's the thing. My waterline is bright red. Look at that. Can you see how red that is? This is what happens when I get allergies. Mm, yeah, it definitely looks quite like dry on my under eyes. Oh man, I'm so nervous that this is gonna look really bad like once it's set. But I'm gonna take one of my favorites, the She Glam Cappuccino under my eyes. Honestly, this powder is magic. Like, it's made it look so much smoother. Like, I love, love, love this powder so much. The excess just over my freckles. This is actually NC25, which is a little bit darker, but I do have like a lot of bronzer on, like I said, on my chest, so it should work. Is that like watermelon? Cucumber? What is that? I'm gonna use my Naked Sundays. <gasps> it's leaking. <gasps> it's cracked. Look, how the heck did that even happen? This one literally makes my face look like oily-ish in like a good way. It's like one of my favorites. I'm just not having a very good makeup day so far. But you know what? It's literally probably just my outfit. I bet if I just got changed right now into a color I like to wear, like I'd probably be like, oh, everything looks great. Do you know what I mean? Isn't it weird how that happens? Right, now I've got to choose which bronzer to use. I guess we all carry on like the theme. <laughs> I like the packaging. They really need to bring the brand to New Zealand, like Sephora or whatever. I love this packaging. That's so nice. It's like bronze, it's different, but you know, it's not ugly and it's still compact. A little mirror. I thought that was gonna make a nice noise, but. Color looks nice. This is the shade Light Level 4. I'm gonna use a Shimmer Tulip brush because I've just been loving this brush for bronzer lately. Oh God, I'm nervous. I've got makeup all in my hair from yesterday. <laughs> okay, it's a nice color. I probably normally go a little bit darker. I feel like it looks so much darker in the pan, but it's very, very user-friendly. It's easy to build up, which is nice. It appears to be pretty easy to blend. I feel like it's quite blurring on the skin. Put some on my eyelid too, because I can't help myself, even though I'm going to do eye shadow. I don't know. I just can't not. Do some on the nose. I literally just go straight down the bridge of my nose. Yeah, it's a nice color. It's not blowing me away, once again. It might grow on me more. I definitely do not dislike it, guys. I'm just not, like, blown away by the way it looks. Not by the color, the formula. It's just... It's good. I'd say it's nice for natural because it is so buildable and blendy. I think if you have a hard time finding bronzers that kind of like just blend in really well, like it does blend in very well. I have no idea if that makes sense, but in my head it makes sense. Once it's all on like this, I think it looks stunning. I'd be interested to just try like one shade darker. Kind of just want to like pop on the highlighter right now and just see what it looks like and then go from there with like the eye makeup. So let's try it. This is Rose Quartz, like I said, and it's almost like a blush, which I did on purpose. Like I was looking at a lot of the highlight colors and they look beautiful, but they look like colors I have. Do you know what I mean? So I went for this one. It definitely is pink, but look, it's still highlighting my face. It's not too dark or anything. I think this will look really nice once I um, pop on some blush. We'll do blush at the end, but. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's really freshened up my complexion as well, like added a bit of color to my face. Let's pop a little bit 
on the nose. Oh, don't like it there. The skin, I feel like it's coming together. The finish looks much nicer. I love, love, love that um, Summer Fridays, is it? Nope, Naked Sundays. Naked Sundays SPF City Mist. Just makes my skin look so much nicer. Let's get into the palette because I'm really, really excited to try it. Okay, another look. So this is the Dragon Eye Palette by What's Up Beauty. And I tried another one. Which one was it that I used in a different video? It wasn't this one. Hold on one second. I'll go find it. I believe it was this one, the Geodes. I'll find the video and I'll link it below for you. The colors kind of look similar. I feel like the palettes would go really nice together, you know? I'm just like making this quite dark on purpose because the lighting is really awkward to show these types of like colors. There we go. Now you can see a bit better. I think it's just like the metallic tray. <laughs> so there you go. So yeah, I used this one already and oh my God, that's a trend color. It's just unreal. So we'll probably use this. I also just found in my drawer, there's another whole new one that I haven't opened yet from What's Up Beauty. It's called Monsoon, Desert Monsoon. Once again, the colors are like, so pretty. They kind of go, like all of the palettes kind of go together. They're all like same, same, but different if that makes sense. So let's dive on into this one. I'm going to start out by using mm, Creature. I've got hairs everywhere. It's a really nice, like warm, you know, crease color. And I just find that the eyeshadows are just like butter. Like they blend out so beautifully. I'm obsessed. Definitely some of my like current like favorite eyeshadows, I guess. Like I just love the formula. And the color stories on the palettes is just so much fun really inspiring like creative colors but also like wearable i think i'm gonna go in with myth because it's kind of got that like purpley reflect to it let's just see what it looks like let's do a bit of myth on the outer kind of corner okay i feel like my finger's gonna work better yep so this color works really well with that crease color i'm actually gonna wet my brush just applying it on that like setting spray makes a bit of a difference. Makes it a bit more like full on. You can obviously use a eye primer too. Monster, a bit more purple looking. They honestly look so much better when you use your finger, which is like the case with most shimmery colors, but you know. I just wanted to kind of use a brush so I could like place it where I wanted it, but here we are. We'll just put on some magic too, which is like a bit more like bluey reflect, I reckon. Yeah, we'll just mash it in the middle. I have no idea if you can see just the extent of the like duochrome <laughs> through the camera, but it looks so good. Let's use this purple color called Powerful. It's a matte under my eyes. That is such a nice color. Why can I hear fireworks? I don't understand this. Like, what is up with people lighting fireworks at 11.40 a.m. on a raining, windy day in broad daylight? Like, you okay? I'm sorry, I'm one of those like killjoy fun sponges that just thinks that, you know, fireworks should be left to professionals. When there are pets, when there are children, when there are injuries, when there are fires. There was literally a fire up the hill from us last night. I don't think it was from fireworks. I mean, it could have been, but I don't think it was. We've had really dry weather, so probably a good thing we're getting a bit of rain today. When there are all these things, like, I don't know, I just feel like people aren't responsible enough to like handle these huge fireworks. Like probably should just go to like a big event and let off fireworks at a big event rather than like buying them and setting them off at 11.40 a.m. So all that happens is people just chuck them in other people's litter boxes and like fire them at each other and play chicken and stuff. And it's just all a bit silly. Uh, I'm obsessed with this eye makeup. How beautiful is that? I just kind of like fluffed it up into the outer corner just a little bit. And I don't know, it's giving me like sleepy eyes in a good way. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to really do eyeliner, but also I want to use some like falsies. Maybe I'll do ones under my natural lashes so that the top lash line just stays really open and we kind of keep that like sleepy, sexy, sexy, <laughs> sexy, sultry look. Setting spray addict. I've used like four different setting sprays today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> can't stop looking at this eye makeup. I just feel like you guys can't see it as good as I can. It is so pretty. Anyway, what are your favorite mascaras at the moment, guys? I actually have some new ones in my drawer I need to try, but 
I've gone back to this one and also the lengthening one from Gullivop, the brown one. Oh my god, it's so pretty in real life. It's like pinky, tan, I don't even know what to say, blue, purple, like so many different colors. It's so pretty. I'm gonna chuck on a Laura cluster lashes. So I pop the glue on the top of the lash, like on top of the lash band, and then Bob's your uncle. And then pop it underneath and Bob's your uncle. No, Bob's your uncle. There we go. <laughs> Let me do one eye just so you can see the difference because this is like a way more natural way to wear lashes but it still does make like that really nice difference and just polishes up the end result. All right, the glue's still drying and I also applied my MCO 4-in-1 just in my waterline so you could see like the difference. Much brighter, more polished. I was also thinking it would look really good with like a dark purple eyeliner for like a more smoldery look but... I don't know, I kind of love this. But can you see with the eyes, obviously it just looks a little bit more like full. The lashes look more polished. Um, yeah, it just looks better. And I just put one, two, three from like the middle of my eye to the outer corner of the eye, just to add some fullness, some depth. And then if I look down, hopefully you can see, literally it looks like I'm not wearing falsies whatsoever. So pretty cool. Obviously if you're doing um, lashes in this manner, be very careful. You don't want to put glue in your eyeball. Oh. So pretty. So this, once again, if you're wondering, this is what they look like up close. They're like crissy crossy. So they just add like a nice like volume wispiness. Can you see how like they look kind of almost messy, you know? There are different styles, but it just adds all that crissy crossy and it just makes your lashes look nice and full. All right, and there is the lashes all on. And I'm just going ahead and like adding a little bit more mascara. So I think that looks nice. Bit more dramatic literally though look from like above oh god this is so hard to do like no lash band oh my god it's so sparkly and pretty i just want a really nice pink blush and i can't find what i'm looking for so i guess i'll just use the steel one rosy glow it's not even right though like i i'm looking for something less like cool tone and less neon i was trying not to use this but it's the perfect color i'm gonna use some posy from exo beauty Oh, I forgot to do <laughs> my other waterline. I'm gonna go in with the shade Pound Cake, the Easy Bake, and I'm just going to use a little bit of that to kind of help transition all those colors together there, brighten a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with my highlighter, but I'm gonna kind of like, I don't know, just blow it out a little bit and add it almost everywhere over my cheek. On my lips, I'm gonna go in with Carly. And then on the inside, I'm gonna use Millie from EXO Beauty this time. Just a really little bit. Kind of like blotting it. I don't wanna like wipe on heaps of color. I feel like these two colors were made for each other. I'm trying to decide if I wanna like add gloss or not. I think I won't. What do you guys think of the makeup? It's like cool toned and warm toned at the same time. Kind of cute like spring makeup for those of you in spring. Put me in like a white top and I would like love this so much more. It's actually a thing. Like I just don't love this color. Even though I like it on my eyes, I don't like it on my body. That's kind of weird, right? Anyways, thanks for tuning in today while I tried a few new products and just played around with my makeup. I had a lot of fun. I have some videos planned for you. Of course, more declutters, PR haul, some foundation first impressions featuring those ones I bought and showed you today. What else? I want to do some more one brand makeup looks. I really want to do Emco. I want to do Huda Beauty. Let me know if there's any other videos you want to see from me in the next coming weeks. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.